Hello, I'm Tom Long. Welcome to Beach Meditations. Today, we'll be kayaking the Cape Fear River near Belleville, North Carolina. When I'm out driving, one of my favorite messages to see on a church sign is this one. All are welcome here. In the first two verses of this week's gospel reading, the word welcomes appears six times. Normally, when we talk about actions having consequences, the emphasis is on the negative consequences of bad actions. But Jesus tells us here that when we welcome an apostle, a prophet, or a righteous person, we will be rewarded as if we were the person we are welcoming. But in verse 42, we see this extends even to, quote, quote, these little ones who are Christ followers. I think also of what the Bible says in Hebrews 13, verse 2. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by so doing, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Hospitality being the warm and generous reception of other people. It reminds me of that episode of Undercover Boss when the employee fired the boss because he didn't know who the boss was. Oopsie, don't want to be that guy. This verse in Hebrews follows immediately on the verse encouraging us, quote, keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters, unquote. If I may be allowed to digress for a moment, I'm a dog person. One of the things I miss about my dog is the way he acted every time I came home. A dog doesn't care whether you forgot to do a chore around the house, didn't turn your school paper in on time, missed a deadline at work, or any other way in which we might have fallen short today. When we come through the door, they are bouncing with joy, excitement, and love. And it feels good. God wants everyone to be treated the way a good dog treats its family. We should be received with openness, warmth, and attention to our needs. Further, what these verses tell us is the way God wants people to be welcomed is that he wants us to be the ones who are welcoming. The focus isn't so much on us being welcomed in these verses, but on us being welcoming. Of course, Putting all our welcome here on our church sign is not enough. We must walk the walk. Whether it's a bishop, a missionary, a visiting pastor, or an outcast from society, how we receive them just might lead to our receiving a blessing ourselves. But in today's passage, we learn that no welcome or act of hospitality is too small. Matthew 10, 42 says, If anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones, who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. The welcoming, hospitable person will be rewarded by God. Come and get your blessing just by being welcoming and receptive to others. The NIV prosaically translates Ecclesiastes 11.1 1 as, Ship your grain across the sea. After many days, you may receive a return. And you may have heard the old story or the old old way of putting it about casting your bread upon the waters. Also in the New Testament, we see the language of reaping and sowing, which carries the same idea. Second Corinthians uh, chapter nine, verse six says, remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. In Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 and 8, again Paul says, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please their flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. So hospitality, reap a reward. So welcome, reap a blessing. Keep in mind that in our specific passage, welcoming is in the context of welcoming the disciples Jesus sent out. 
I believe the principle of hospitality, seen in the context of these other verses, suggests that whether kings or little ones, whomever God sends our way, God sends for us to welcome and extend hospitality. If you haven't already, a great place to start your practice of being welcoming is to welcome Jesus himself into your life.